Would you die for your child? This is the only question a parent needs to answer. Everything else flows from this. The, the first sentence is so important, and the last sentence as well. The first and last sentence are the ones I put the most work into. The middle is the hardest for me. I still struggle with the middle. Uh, because early on, when I outline a book, I know how it's going to start, and I know how it's going to end. It's connecting the two that I always find the biggest challenge. I believe in deep, deep research, anthropology, history, geography, and I don't, I'm not one of these people who think that the imagination should be unfettered and just scamper about uh, among unicorns and lilies. Uh, I think the more you know a subject, the more material you have, the better the story can be. One of the funnest parts of writing 419 was dealing with the police and looking for a place that we could kill somebody. Because I, I said a car has to go over a bridge and roll down a hill, and the guy has to die but it has to look like an accident. And so uh, they walked me through how they would investigate it, what they would look for, and what would raise their suspicions. And I think, um, I think just the little boy in you comes out hanging out with policemen, uh, looking at crime scenes investigations. So that was quite fun. It is not a healthy way to make a living. I mean, it's really not uh, sitting all alone in a room, you know, making up conversations between imaginary people. It's not, it's not a healthy way. It's one of the reasons I, I love travel writing which is where I came out of, because it gets you out of the house. It forces you to, to leave the room. And oddly enough, travel writing uh, leads very naturally into fiction, into literary fiction. The two of them really, really work well together. You have a protagonist, you have a, a journey built right in. You, you try to reveal character through dialogue. You try to evoke a place through description rather than just giving a tally. So the transition from travel to, to fiction is very natural. You have to promote your work. I mean, there's so much noise out there. And it's kind of presumptuous for an author to say, I will write this book and then I will sit back and the world will come to me and acknowledge my genius. I think you have to get out there. You have to, to uh, engage with the media. So once a book is out there, that's only the first step. If no one reads it, what's the point? The advice my dad gave me, um, which is kind of standard advice, but good, is to Figure out what you love to do, and then figure out a way to get somebody to pay you to do it. So I managed to do that, so I'm, I'm very content.